Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Fullerton, and today I'd like to talk to you about the wave equation. Our objectives are going to be to calculate period, frequency, and wavelength, and understand the relationship between these characteristics of a wave. So frequency, F, describes the number of waves that pass a given point in a time period of one second. So if you had five waves per second, your frequency would be five hertz. The units are one over seconds, or hertz, which we abbreviate with the capital HZ. More frequencies, more, pardon me, higher frequencies, more waves per second. Lower frequencies, fewer waves every second. Period is very closely related to frequency. Period describes how long it takes for a single wave to pass a given point. So it's the reciprocal of frequency. Period is equal to one over frequency, and frequency is equal to one over period. The units of period are seconds, therefore the units of frequency again are one over seconds. So sample problem one. What is the period of a 60 hertz electromagnetic wave traveling at three times 10 to the eighth meters per second? Well, we know its frequency is 60 hertz or 60 1 over seconds. We know its velocity is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. We want to know what its period is. Well, to get period, if we have frequency, that's just 1 over the frequency, or 1 over 60 hertz, or 1 over 60 1 over seconds, which is equal to 0 0.0167 and if you have 1 over 1 over seconds, that's 0 0.0167 seconds. Which unit is equivalent to meters per second? Well, a meter per second, 1 over a second is a hertz, so that must be a hertz times a meter, because a meter per second is 1 meter times 1 over seconds. Therefore, the correct answer must be 2, a hertz times a meter. One more. The product of a wave's frequency in its period is what? Well, frequency times period equals, well, if period is 1 over frequency, we could write this as frequency times 1 over frequency, which is equal to 1. So a wave's frequency times its period must always be 1. Now, when we talk about wave's velocity, wave velocity, we have to realize that since waves travel through some sort of distance, they therefore have a velocity. They travel some distance in some amount of time. The velocity of a wave is a function of the type of wave and of the medium it travels through. That's very important. Wave velocity depends on two things, the type of wave and the medium it travels through. For example, electromagnetic waves, things like light moving through a vacuum, travel at 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. That's such an important and common number in physics we use so often, we give it a special abbreviation, lowercase c. c is the speed of light, or the speed of electromagnetic waves in a vacuum, 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Really, really fast. The wave equation says for a given wave speed, or wave velocity, as frequency increases, wavelength must decrease. So the wave velocity is equal to frequency times wavelength. Now what's important to note here, the wave velocity doesn't depend on frequency and wavelength. You can't increase the frequency of a wave and have it speed up. This is a relationship that shows you for how the frequency and the wavelength are related. Let's see how this works. What is the wavelength of a wave having a frequency of 5 hertz, frequency is 5 hertz, and a speed of 10 meters per second? Well, if velocity is equal to frequency times wavelength, then we could say that wavelength equals velocity over frequency, or 10 meters per second, divided by 5 hertz, or 5 over seconds, is going to give us a wavelength of 2 meters. Pretty straightforward. Let's try another one. If the amplitude of a wave is increased, the frequency of the wave will decrease, increase, or remain the same. Well, if you recall, we don't have any relationship between amplitude and frequency. So, 
If amplitude goes up, it doesn't do a thing to the frequency. The amplitude is independent of frequency, so the frequency will, three, remain the same. An electromagnetic wave traveling through a vacuum has a wavelength of 1.5 times 10 to the minus 1 meters. What is the period of this electromagnetic wave? All right. Well, we know that it has a wavelength, lambda, of 1.5 times 10 to the minus 1 meters. And since it's an electromagnetic wave traveling through a vacuum, we know its velocity is that constant c, or 3 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. We need to find period. Well, the wave equation says velocity is equal to frequency times wavelength. But that doesn't really tell us period. If you remember, though, period is 1 over frequency, or frequency is 1 over period. Therefore, we could write this as velocity equals wavelength over period. If we rearrange this now for period, period is going to equal wavelength over velocity, or 1.5 times 10 to the minus 1 meters over 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. And we'll be left with a period of 5 times 10 to the minus 10 seconds. Had a couple more steps in that problem. So you really have to know that relationship between frequency and period pretty well in order to be able to convert the two. Frequency is 1 over period, and period is 1 over frequency. Let's try one more. A surfacing blue whale produces water, wa water wave crests having an amplitude of 1.2 meters every 0.4 seconds. If the water wave travels at 4.5 meters per second, what is the wavelength? Well, in this case, we know velocity of the wave. We know the period of the wave. We're looking for wavelength. Velocity equals frequency times wavelength, or wavelength equals velocity over frequency. But again, we're given period at 0.4 seconds. So if you remember, 1 over frequency equals period. We can say wavelength equals velocity times period, or 4.5 meters per second times our period of 0 0.4 seconds gives us a wavelength of 1.8 meters. Hopefully that gets you started with the wave equation and the relationship between frequency, period, wavelength, and wave velocity. If you need more help or looking for more information, check out aplusphysics.com. Thanks, and make it a great day.